Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about clean and readable code. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you have any tips for how to keep your code clean and readable? And the short answer is you need to talk to people and practice, of course. That's pretty much it. So what I mean by that is, well, I hope that at least practice makes perfect is something that resonates with most people. Anything that you want to do that requires some type of skill is going to, you know, you're going to get better at it if you just practice. But talking to people is something that may not be so clear to a lot of people. You see, there is this, well, there is this idea that I see quite a lot of people especially the juniors and on my on the comment sections especially I see a lot of people very overtly showing that they don't have confidence in their own code and this is very natural you should I this is not something that is uncommon some people feel sensitive about their code like far into their own career. It's usually, I see it like in senior developers, I usually only see it in the people who are either very, very unsure of themselves or the sort of people that you would label a arrogant or douchey type of character who thinks that they know everything because what they're actually, what actually is underneath there is a lot of sensitivity and, and uh, lack of confidence in quite a lot of things for these people to be so aggressive about their own software practices. Now, the thing that needs to be said here, I think, is that you will never write code that is just good. I know it's a shocker, but this is true. You will never ever write code that is just good for every, from the perspective of everybody who, re who reads that code. It's impossible. You can't. It's uh, the, the fact of the matter is that when you write software or you write your logic and so forth, you're in many ways writing a book or like some other subjective thing. There are many ways to solve the same problem, and just as there are many ways to write a book or formulate a sentence. And if you ask a hundred people to look at the, to read the same book, not all of them are going to like it. And every pretty much almost every single person will have an opinion if you ask them could this be improved they will have an opinion on something it doesn't matter how minor it can be almost anything it i would say that i don't think that the, it's possible to have like a, a room full of people read the same content or see the same movie or listen to the same song and then ask the question could could this be improved and everybody else goes no this is absolutely perfect it's it's not not going to happen software works the exact same way now if you embrace that, if you just realize that you will have to emotion get to a point where you are you are emotionally equipped to deal with the fact that you make a draft, something that you think is fairly well made, and then you need to review it, like you need to showcase it to somebody else and have them hopefully be nice about it, but just say ask them what is good with this and what's not so good with this is there something that is unclear or so forth that code review process that most companies have in some format or at least they should have because it's absolutely vital that you don't just ship code without reviewing it because the code actually gets better and that is some the understanding that your software gets better by being reviewed by other people and that you actually get better by reviewing other people's code is one a very clear tell that someone has a bit of experience working and that they have had this personal realization that if you just ship your own code all the time odds are that you're going to make more mistakes and sloppy work and so forth because you're you're miss it's when you're working on a feature or you're working on software it, it, everything makes sense in your head because you're the one who is creating it and that gives you a bit of tunnel vision and it's extremely valuable to have someone come in with an outside perspective and just point out things i don't know how many times i have been saved from introducing a bug or something like that that i it's just usually it's a minor mistake or a sloppy thing because you know when i'm writing that code i'm thinking about all the other things as well I, and i forget these tiny little details and that's the sort of thing that can get caught if you have someone who reviews it right so the way that I make sure that I have clean and readable code is one part, as I said, to actually practice, but above all else, I seek out people to review the code. And if I ever get to a point, this is almost a habit now, and you, 
it, it kind of naturally grows for me because I have, I, you know, I work with people who have very strong opinions about certain things and some things that they don't care about so much. And I know, I can, can after a while of working with these people, you kind of just know that, oh, this is, I, I can solve this way, this thing here in several ways. And I know that this, like Bob and John and Jane and so forth, they're gonna have different opinions about this specific area. So what I usually do here is that I stop myself because I know that the odds of me writing this right, like some things I know I'm gonna just write, write correctly and like in the way that they feel happy with, but it's much simpler and quicker for me to just grab someone and say, hey, can we just look at this together? And then I explain what I'm thinking and I, then I write some basic logic and then they get to have an opinion even before I write that software because it's so much simpler for me to identify an area where I know that they're most likely going to have an opinion and have them think and th think it through and be with me up front and have an opinion on how the actual solution is going to look before I implement it. Because if they come in later, because the code review is still going to happen, and if they then come in and say, hey, you know what, I really don't like this, we should do that and that and that, maybe their suggestions are nice and they're actually useful, but maybe the, th the way that I wrote the code makes it a little bit tricky or there's a deadline or there's some external factor as to why it's just not feasible for me to solve it in that way, even if it might have been a better solution. So by simply making sure that I include other people in, air, in, in times when I'm going to write something that is a little bit like, not boilerplate, it's something that might be a little bit more complicated or something like that, and getting these different perspectives, then I, I kind of very organically start to understand and see a pattern in their opinions. And I start to realize, what practices they feel comfortable with, what things that they don't feel comfortable with, what's understandable and comprehensible to these to my coworkers, and what's not understandable and comprehensible. And then I adjust accordingly. And over time, I actually, this process, it goes much faster because I already kind of know how I should write it. And more and more times I feel like, yeah, I kind of know what Bob is gonna say and I know what Jane's gonna say. I actually showed this to one of my juniors. She was, uh, when I was training her, she said to me, like, um, she, I was sent her to a review and she said, oh no, I don't want more people to review it because then I'm going to get stuck and get more feedback. And I said, yeah, that's exactly how it is. Because, and then I just turned to the room and then I pointed, pointed at all my coworkers because that guy over there, he's going to think these things about your code. That guy over there, he's going to think those things. She, her there, you know, that girl over there, she's going to have another set of opinions because each of these people are different and they will have different opinions on what good software means. So what I want you to take away from this is that my way of figuring out how to write clean maintainable software is to have a collaborative environment and a mindset there where I try to identify areas of the software that I'm writing that is up for quite a lot of opinion that this is something that is non-trivial or it's something that where there are many different practices and different people would solve this in very different ways and then I just try to get some feedback on that early on so that I can kind of figure out what my different co-workers feel is a good solution and what is a bad solution, what's complicated and what's simple. Because when you can start to see a pattern in all these different opinions in your team, then you actually naturally adopt a, a mindset, well, okay, if I write it this way, it's probably the way, it's probably the going to be the most comprehensible and simple thing out there, at least for now, so that this team feels, feels comfortable maintaining this code because that's the big that's the big secret that's the that's the most important thing to write software that doesn't just do the job and make sense to you but write software that do that does all of that in a way that other people feel like this is a clean understandable solution have a great day